Is golf a game, a lifestyle, an obsession? My name's Tom Coyne, and for me, golf is connection. It's a connection with nature, with places, but most of all, with people. Now, I've traveled the world on some crazy golf adventures, and everywhere I go, I find people whose lives revolve around this little white ball. Because this isn't just a game. This is The Lynx Life. Canal Shores uh, with my good friend Joel Murray. So you grew up around here. You grew up working here, right? Well, I didn't really work here. I, uh, we used to find balls along the, the edge of the canal, and if you found a, you know, like a dozen good ones, they'd let you play. Uh, the starter would let you out, but generally we just snuck on, um, <laughs> rode over on the bicycles. We've got caddies on bicycles here, but worked on garbage trucks, all kinds of noises, ambulances. But this was traditionally the first hole and they made it the third now, so you're a little bit more warmed up. But before these trees grew in, it used to be people would step up here and slice a ball right into the rotunda of the emergency entrance. Right. Evanston Hospital there. Which is no good. I mean, you're not, going, you're not feeling well if you're going there. And then you're getting hit by a golf ball on the way in. Well, now they put it in an airport, and uh, we've got guys backing <laughs> up. So it's just it's, a sound man's right. dream right yeah, here. It's not America's quietest golf course. Um, this is about as narrow, this looks like the hallway in my hotel last night. Nice and narrow. I'll be going with about a four iron. I'm just gonna go. Ah. Your honor, your honor. Did we get a breakfast ball since there's a lack of a driving range? Yes. That reminds me, I can't play without a hat on. Breakfast balls. Mr. Nibbles. Oh, it's, it's alive. But yeah, this hole's called Murray. This because... hole is called Murray, which I think means I should get a shot, extra shot on this one. But Billy used to run the snack shack that's up on the left. Oh, really? Yeah. He was a, an assistant groundskeeper here, and then somehow he elevated himself to running the snack shack. But he was a guy that, you know, liked to get up when the sun is warm, not as early as golfers might want snacks. He used to watch the fireworks from the rooftop of there. You could see both Dyke Stadium's fireworks and Gilson Park's fireworks at the same time, and that was pretty good. There's a lot of that on this hole for me, on this whole oh, course. Call it Murray. Right? You've been married. Tom, when I was doing my travels, this was a place that you were very passionate about me coming to see, and I certainly had read about it in the Golfer's Journal, but what's this place mean to you? It's just everything about it, the community involvement. There's a guy, Jason, um, who lives around here and he just knew that the course needed a little work. About 10 years ago, it was no condition like this at all. It was a flat kind of... It was a lot of hard pan. A lot of hard pan, <laughs> put it mildly. Um, so the community is literally building and maintaining the golf course. Literally. Yeah. That is awesome. And we also were beneficial in the fact that the, the Ricketts brothers, when they bought the Cubs, moved into the neighborhood. Oh, okay. They literally had a house, like, right down the street. You could look in and watch them eat, you know, dinner. I think you but do that sometimes. They, uh, they put a bunch of money into it. got to college when HBO just first came out. Yeah. So I got to college wherever you wanted to go somewhere. 
have you ever seen this? Like, uh, yeah, I've seen Caddyshack. <laughs> no, we, then we just watched Stripes. Have you ever seen that? Uh, yeah, I have. But uh, yeah. yeah, those two movies were on HBO right. in rotation nonstop when I first got to beautiful northern Illinois and DeKalb. That I watched a thousand times with, when I was like nine years old, ten years old. One crazy summer. I swear to God, I can quote. That's the movie I can quote. Chili Dog. Me. I've had people tell me that it's one of the greatest films ever made. I, th I, I, I said, you know, you really got to get out of your mother's basement, pal. <laughs>
to play good basketball and be soaking wet when you got to the first tee and <laughs> yeah, meet your, you your members in their brand yeah. new golf outfits and you were already drenched. Right. Uh, ah, the church pews, folks. There's a lot of technology. There you go. That. <laughs> They're surrounded by wood. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wood and... Well, I'm glad I'm not in there. So Tony, what a day at Canal Shores. Absolutely loved it. You're the GM here? The GM and the golf course superintendent. Fam. It is cool because it's such a unique and interesting place. I think, you know, obviously the routing jumps out at me is like, sure. well, this is different. You know, you're crossing streets. It literally, I mean, you talk about a community course. This it's is in the community. community. Yeah. This is in people's backyards in the city. It's a real, it. it's a really cool spot for not just golf yeah. it's part of it's a fabric of the whole community which it's makes it such an interesting and, and that's what makes it so important i think and also another interesting thing that you're a nonprofit. yes uh that you survive based on donations donations and, greens fees right yeah well uh, the misconception is that we're we're owned by or the the village of um, of wilmette and the city of evanston fund us but that's not true not we immune. are a true we're right. not immune we're a true 501c3 charity organization so gonna stay up. I'll tell you, Canal Shores, you've got some bite. All right, I can't do that. Hey, look at this, everyone. Oh, <laughs> it's a pleasure, man. Huh? Nice hanging with you. A lot of fun. All right. Thanks for coming out. You kicked my. Uh... Yeah, you beat me pretty handily on your old home track. You came to the jungle, man. I did. But Both thanks, right uh, thanks for the book. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank and, you. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Best book since you know Stan Makita. I played a win.